Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Your oppression gets in the way of you keeping the commandments. You would rather do what the world says to do. Where you at? 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So Christ came to save his people from their sins, which is you. You sinned. You became slave to the white man. And the only way that you're going to be delivered is through divine intervention. You know why? Because you don't have the capability of creating a-bombs and nuclear bombs and sending drones that could wipe out a whole community or you don't even know how to splice certain um, genes that make the coronavirus or any virus or whatever. You don't know how to purify your own water like in Flint, Mich Michigan or Pittsburgh. Reason why I don't drink tap water no more because, listen, I used to get on my wife all the time. Oh, you so corny. A lot of that water is made out of tap water. Until I turned on the bathtub and I'm sitting in the tub and I look down and the whole water's brown. And it wasn't because I was dirty. <laughs> it wasn't because I was dirty. That water was coming out with mud. I'm like, yo, we've been drinking that. We've been drinking that. You know what I mean? Like, especially if, 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 if it don't come out brown immediately, it might have just been one good burst of brown goo. But before that, it was thinned out or it was, it was diluted. So you was drinking the diluted part, and you know, you ain't think to look at the uh, cup and see the amoebas. That's in that movie. You know, you know that movie with, uh, man, what's the name? Uh, Lethal Weapon Dude. When he's a preacher and the aliens invade and his, his daughter didn't like drinking water that she sat down. No, Mel Gibson. Y'all know what movie I'm talking about? Nope. <laughs> nope. Damn. Well, it's a good movie, but the daughter didn't like when she drank water, she set it down. She ain't like drinking it no more because it had amoebas in it. But come to, you know, as, as the story goes on, that's how they conquered the aliens because of the aliens couldn't uh, uh, take water. Anyway. Y'all probably like, he was dirty, that muddy water was because he was dirty. Come on. Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed. So in a nutshell, God said, violate, well, through Moses, you violate the laws of God. Your enemy's going to come at you. He's going to place you on cargo slave ships and ship you away. Based off of what? Your sins, right? So Luke, back to Luke 1, 68, 71. Uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for we have visited and redeemed his people. Uh, my fault, 71. Luke 1 is 71. Verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So the hand of all that hate us will be saved. That includes everybody on the planet. And some of your own people. Some of your own people don't want you to uh, uh, follow God. Oh, you about that Bible stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, you stop being a whoremonger and a whore. She, but the, the the mothers don't call the daughters whores until they mad at them. You little whore. Hey, well, at least in that, where I grew up at, the mama cuss a daggone daughter out. You little whore, you little bee. But a lot of times they would rather you be a hoe than a wife. As soon as you get married, oh, you, you following after your husband. Wait, you call him Lord? You crazy. But if you had a boyfriend... Are you a baby mama? Are you single? Did you allow it over their house? They come over your house. Thanksgiving is glorious. They got the spread, they, the honey glazed ham and everything. You know what I mean? As soon as you stop selling drugs and you ain't able to give them the money that you used to give them, now you the problem. Come on, read that again. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To enemies who have the ability to enslave us, discriminate us, uh, um, discriminate against us, to experiment on us, to educate us improperly, come on. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he sware to our father Abraham that, we, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So it, until that time comes in our mind where we stand up for our beliefs, safeguard our faith, we'll serve God with fear. I, I, I don't want to tell nobody what I believe in. So I'm not going to spark that conversation with my aunt. I'm not going to spark that conversation with my mom or my kids and stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to just leave that con conversation alone. You know why? Because you're scared. You're fearful. You serving God in fear. But you allow everybody and their mama smoke weed around you because they comfortable smoking weed around you. Until they're uncomfortable, then you're not serving God with uh, fear. You're serving God with, with zeal. Tenacity. You 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 on a whole nother level. But that's how that's how it goes with how we gotta safeguard our faith. Right? That Christ came to deliver us from our sins. Our sins caused our condition. The only way we get out of our condition, faith in Christ, keeping the commandments, he deliver us from the hand of our enemies. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.